An 11 inch tablet for 130 bucks. I know what you're thinking. This thing's gotta be a piece of junk. I was thinking the same thing, but I was actually a little surprised. <laughs> Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, my fellow geeks? I'm Kirk, and take a look at this. I've got my hands on the brand new Walmart branded ONN Tablet Pro. This is the 2024 model. It's kind of interesting. This thing kind of looks like an iPad when you look at it from the back. I'm sure that was on purpose. But nonetheless, when you look at the specs, we're talking about a Snapdragon processor, pretty decent resolution, expandable memory, and only 130 bucks. Sure, I was skeptical. I'm sure you are too. So that's why I want to test this thing out. I'm going to unbox this. We're going to go through the setup process together. And then if you stick around to the B side of this video, I'll give you my final thoughts. Was I impressed by the tablet? Pro or not. Let's get this thing over to the table and get it unboxed. Here it is, the ONN Tablet Pro. This is the 2024 11-inch model from Walmart of the ONN Tablet Pro powered by Android. And you can see you've got some icons on the bottom here. Snapdragon processor made by Qualcomm. It's got DTSX and Bluetooth, big giant Bluetooth logo. On the sides, you've got the name of the product and a simple picture of the tablet there. You've got the same thing on the other side. Let's jump to the back here of the Tablet Pro. It shows you the specs. It's got an 1840 by 1280 resolution screen. It's got that Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It's a 685 processor, by the way. 2.8 gigahertz, four gigs of RAM, 16 hours of battery life, 64 gigs of storage in addition to the four gigs of RAM. It's got an aluminum body and immersive audio that's the dts x uh, it's got a little description here of the tablet itself underneath the basics we'll go down to the specs a lot of the stuff we just saw it does run android 14 it's got that qualcomm snapdragon 685 processor up to 16 hours of battery life a 5 megapixel front facing camera 5 megapixel rear facing camera in the box you get the tablet the ac adapter the charging cable the memory card pin and a quick start guide. And there are some more pictures of the tablet itself. And that's pretty much all you get on the outside of the box. So let's get my trusty knife and get this thing opened up. Popping open the top here and inside we've got, uh, looks like a recycled cardboard packaging. I've got a little tab here and I'll pull that tab and there you go. There's the aluminum back of the tablet. I gotta be honest, my first impression is this thing looks pretty nice. It's very iPad-esque. You've got a little tab here with an arrow, so you pull that tab to get the tablet itself out of the box. And again, you know what? This thing feels like it's got some weight to it. It feels better than I expected. Let's take a look at what else is inside the box. You've got a couple of instruction manuals. This is a basic user guide with a bunch of stuff to kind of walk you through getting set up, doing system updates, etc., etc. We also have a quick start guide for those of us who don't want to read the user guide. You can read the quick start guide. Uh, or you can just not read anything. This is just going to give you the basics of turning the tablet on, which buttons do what, how to unlock your tablet, etc., etc. Okay, what else do we have here? We've got a charging cable and a charging cube, and I do want to take a closer look at this charging cube because this tablet does support quick charging, fast charging. So let's see what the cube supports. It looks like it outputs uh, three amps at five volts. So, uh, you know, not sure that's going to do a ton of fast charging necessarily. So we'll have to test it out and see how well that works. The cable, though, looks pretty good. Actually, look at that 60 watt cable. You can see it says 60 watts right there on the cable end. And this is actually an ONN branded cable. So it's not just some generic cable they threw in there. It's their own generic cable branded with ONN branding. And then otherwise, the only other thing inside the box is this. And this is what looks like a SIM ejector tool. Of course, we don't have a SIM in this tablet because it doesn't support cellular connections, but it does use the SIM card slot, the little pin to take the memory card out, the micro SD card. So I'll show you that in a second, but let's take a look at the tablet. And here it is. They've got this uh, paper sticker on the front that shows you every single button, what it does, volume up, volume down. You've got the power button there. Also shows you there's a light sensor there. You've got a camera right there in the middle. You've got a microphone hole on top. You've got your memory card slot on top. I like how this thing shows you kind of where everything is. Super nice. You've got a speaker here on the right. You've got your USB-C port, which also doubles as your headphone port. There is no actual headphone jack on this tablet. Uh, and then you've got another speaker right there. 
Uh, in the middle here, we've got some basic instructions on how to charge the battery, that you should connect it to Wi-Fi, uh, basic stuff here, kind of just a quick start, really. Here's some of the gestures to go home, go back, switch your apps, et cetera, et cetera. Another speaker and another speaker. So you're talking about a total of four speakers on this tablet. Again, that's that DTS X thing that we saw on the outside of the box. Let's pull this off. Oh, the moment of zen. I love that so much. And there you go. Pretty nice looking uh, glass on the front here, uh, showing you that screen and, and pretty basic tablet look to the front. On the back though, again, you've got that aluminum and I'm telling you, it gives it a quality feel. There's your five megapixel camera. It does have a flash or a video light there. You've got uh, another camera on the front as well. But uh, it, otherwise, in the corner, you've got a little FCC logo and FCC ID, tells you it's made in China. On the edges, there's your two speakers again. We've got our, um, oh, you know what? Let me grab that ejector tool and show you exactly how this memory slot works. So like I said, this is very much like a SIM ejector tool on a cell phone. If you've used that before, you stick the pin inside the hole, give it a push, and it'll pop that tray out. And then this is the tray that you use to put your micro SD memory card inside. I do like that they include expandable memory I mean you, you get some memory included again 64 gigs but I could put a 128 gig micro SD card in here and add a ton more memory so yeah and that's how you do it not something you're gonna take in and out a lot which is why they've got the uh, sim ejector tool for this once you put the memory card in there you pop that tray right back in and you're good to go so this is that microphone slot you got your power button and your volume up and volume down buttons uh, nothing on the bottom here of the tablet and then you've got your two more speakers and your USB-C port, which is uh, kind of everything you'd expect on this tablet. You know, taking a closer look at the screen, there's that front facing camera and you can sort of see the bezel. We'll get a better look at the bezel when we power this thing up, but uh, taking just the back of the tablet once again, I just cannot get enough of this aluminum back. Super impressed at this price point, how high end the back of this tablet actually feels. And there's that camera, a five megapixel camera, a serviceable camera, I'm sure. I haven't tested it yet, but at five megapixels, I'm gonna keep my expectations low. Let's power this on. Okay, we've got an Android boot up screen with the ONN Walmart branding logo there, as well as powered by Android as this tablet is now booting up. All right, jumps right into the vanilla Android setup screen. And this is actually promising to see. Hopefully they didn't mess with the uh, OS too much here. I'm hoping it's pretty vanilla. It's gonna go through the process, the normal setup here on Android. I'm going to select a Wi-Fi network and get myself logged into my network. This is typical Android stuff here, guys. Once I'm connected to my network, it's gonna ask me if I wanna copy my apps and data from my account, from another device. I'm not going to do that, but if you wanna transfer all your apps over, you can do that. That will take some time. Uh, and now it's gonna check some more info, and I'm assuming it'll now move us on to the Google login screen here. Quick question, are we logging in as an adult or a child? You can put this in a kid mode. That's a new feature on Android uh, 14. And now we'll log in with my Google account. All right, guys, I'm signed in. And now it's gonna go through the basic questions of what do you wanna save to the, the, the cloud? This is gonna ask me if I wanna use the Google Assistant for voice recognition. Of course, I wanna do that, so I'll accept those prompts. And now it's essentially asking me how much I want on my unlock screen. I will go ahead and accept that as well. And we're pretty much done. It should be taking us over to the home screen in just a second here as we get ready to get this thing started. Now this is telling us the power button can be held down for Google Assistant, but if I wanna turn the phone off, I've gotta use my voice or hold down the power button and the volume button. Kind of interesting, I've never seen that before. Maybe that's something new. And this is asking me if I want home and back buttons on the bottom of the screen or if I wanna use gestures. I'm gonna stick with the gestures and I'm gonna to get to the home screen, which now is here on the tablet. So sliding up from the bottom gives you that app tray. If you've never used a Google tablet or a Google Pixel phone, uh, that's sort of the basic uh, gestures. Uh, left and right will take you to other screens if you have them. Right now I just have this Google Assistant screen that takes me through sort of my Google suggestions. It seems a little sluggish at first and I I'm not gonna judge it yet because it is still setting up the uh, tablet itself. I should probably give it a second here to load up all my settings, which is likely what it's doing, pulling all that down from the the server. Um, this of course is Google Chrome where you'll spend most of your time. I'm going to go ahead and continue with my account here. Yes, I'd like for it to sync. 
Again, that's gonna pull over settings and such from my Google account. So this might be a little on the sluggish side until it does that. I don't wanna fault it too much for that as uh, you know, it's one of those things that is just normal when you set up a new Android device. But let me go ahead and do a little search here and I'll type in Yahoo actually. Let's just jump over to Yahoo and see what that looks like in terms of loading up that page. And there you go. It popped right up uh, pretty quick, pretty fast. Of course, that's going to depend on your network speed. I will say rendering is a little slow here initially. Uh, again, I do think the tablet is still setting itself up as that's uh, going to take a few minutes here. Now, while we wait for the tablet to sort of get itself situated, I do want to cl take a closer look at the screen itself. And I will say in person, it's got a pretty good look to it. Pretty crisp looking screen with that resolution. Not 4K, certainly, but uh, pretty nice looking nonetheless. The bezels are, you know, nothing amazing here in terms of the size of the bezel. It's sort of what you would expect on a budget tablet here but still pretty nice the screen feels nice the tablet has a heavy feel to it swiping down for the top gets us into those setting menus and you can see when you press the power button it, it uh, puts the screen to sleep and this takes you back to the unlock screen where it shows my notifications there on the unlock screen I can swipe right from the middle to unlock the tablet again but you know overall it's uh, it's responding pretty well now that it's getting situated I do feel like I can sort of tell that the speed is picking up to where it should be it's got that Snapdragon processor. I would like maybe a little bit more than four gigs of RAM, but that should definitely be enough for Android. I'm gonna change the background, the wallpaper on this tablet right now, just to make it more visible. That black wallpaper I personally like because it uses less um, less power, but uh, at the same time, I'm not sure it makes sense for doing a demo here so you guys can see. I do wanna show you, if I go into the app drawer, I can hold my finger on an app and I should be able to take that and drag it right over there to my desktop and I can start setting up my icons on my desktop as you personalize this tablet. It's pretty much 100% vanilla Android and I'm so happy to see that on this ONN tablet. I do want to give you a quick demo of Netflix, probably one of the most popular apps when it comes to tablets for people watching movies, whether it's on a plane, while you're kind of hanging out around the house. And um, Netflix installed quickly, easily, loaded right up. Let me give you a quick kind of tour of the Netflix app just to see what the performance looks like on this tablet. Okay, so here's the main menu. It is snappy, it's loading right up. Let me find a show here and load a show. How about this, is it cake? We'll load up, is it cake? I'll hit the play button. Wow, look at that. It loaded right up, almost no buffering. Uh, you know, so that's, whether that's to Netflix's sake or the speed of this tablet, either way, it works pretty well. And the quality's good. Streaming is good. The quality's good. The colors look good on this screen. The sound is as good as they uh, promised it would be. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed. This is the kind of thing I think when you're talking about a $130 tablet, this is the kind of thing people are gonna be using it for. They wanna be able to sit down, watch their Netflix, hang out around the house, take it on a flight, and not worry about it because it's not you know, a $500 iPad, it's an affordable tablet from Walmart. Okay, I'm impressed. The Netflix viewing experience is pretty awesome. And look at this, you can shrink it down, you can do other things while you watch Netflix. And I gotta show you this split screen feature, part of Android 14, but it works pretty well here on this ONN tablet where you can essentially do anything else. Another app, I'm browsing the web here while I've got this Netflix show playing on the bottom of the screen. What a great way to use the full size of that tablet screen if you really need to multitask or do some stuff on a web browser while you're also watching a show. I gotta be honest, my final thoughts for 130 bucks, this is a buy. Not if you're trying to buy a high-end tablet. If that's the case, spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a high-end tablet. But if you're looking for something that's gonna work for you, browse the web, watch your Netflix videos for 130 bucks, this is an amazing option. I was very surprised and very impressed how well this thing worked at this price point. If you want to find this thing, of course they sell it at Walmart. I've also got a link to it down in the description below. And I would love it so much if you subscribe to this channel. I have a lot more geeky videos to come. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.